Orphans and superheroes go hand in hand. There's a reason why it's such a cliche. So let's make this whole no parents thing even more traumatic for them and put these heroes onto a list, rating them on how good of an orphan they are. So let's jump right into top 10 superheroes whose parents are dead. At number 10, we've got Daredevil. Matt Murdock's dad was James Murdock, a boxer in Hell's Kitchen. One fateful day after young Matt is heroic and pushes a man to safety after he's almost hit by oncoming traffic, Matt is blinded by a radioactive substance that falls off a truck. But Daddy Dearest is still alive during his recovery, but not for long. Jack is then killed by a gang of thugs after refusing to throw a fight. Eventually Matt gets his revenge for this once he's donned the Daredevil costume, but needless to say he grows up alright, becoming a lawyer and starting his own practice with Foggy Nelson. Up next at number 9 is Iron Man. So yes, Iron Man and his parents were killed by the Winter Soldier, so there's a fun team dynamic to have sorted out. But initially, Hydra made these deaths look like an accident. Now, what does this mean for Tony? I mean, aside from being left with a massive fortune at a young age, but without the drive for justice. Well, his life actually got a little bit better, because turns out Howard Stark was pretty abusive. He was an alcoholic who verbally and physically hurt his son and left Tony with an inferiority complex that he spent his life trying to overcome. Here's an example of why being an orphan actually sometimes doesn't suck. Sorry to all you orphans out there. Up next at number 8 is Superman. So this is kind of not really cheating because Superman's biological parents are dead. However, he has loving adoptive parents who have raised him since infancy. You go John and Martha Kent. Clark Kent holds a reverence for his biological parents and what they attempted to do for his planet that matches quite well with his do what's right for the sake of doing just that. And that's using your power responsibly. Clark is also drawn to his parents and his planet due in part to his innate distance from it. While Earth may not be his planet of origin, because Earth is not his planet of origin, in case you didn't know. He kinda has them elevated on a pedestal. Unlike Batman, Superman's loss of his parents don't really make him that jaded because he already had a support system when he came to Earth, but he's still sad about it. Up next at number 7 is Nightwing. Dick Grayson witnessed the tragic death of both of his parents in front of a large circus audience, which is exactly what led him to being Bruce Wayne's ward. Dick Grayson's parents were murdered to extort money from the circus which set his life on a collision course with Bruce Wayne who was in the audience, and was moved by the incident so much so because it reminded him of the tragic loss of his own parents. Dick eventually discovers Batman's identity and is taken under his wing as a protege and as a way to channel his aggression and anger. There are numerous ethical debates as to how immorally defensible this is, but the addition of Robin and eventually Nightwing are definitive assets to Batman's universe. Yes, Nightwing's parents are dead, but over time he does become a part of a new family. The Bat Family. And at number 6 we've got Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones lost her parents when her car collided with a military convoy containing radioactive waste. Because what else would a truck in any comic universe be carrying? Her family is killed and she ends up in a coma and upon waking up is sent to the same school as Spider-Man. However, Jones has a fair amount of bitterness about what happened to her family. But after seeing Spider-Man fight Sandman, she decides to use her powers for good as an attempt to seek direction in her life. However, this decision turns out to be one that leads her down a dark path and takes her years to recover from. It does all work out in the end though, but it would have been nice if the road to Luke Cage and finding her purpose had some parents in the mix. And less alcohol, if you're a fan of the show. Although I love Kristen Ritter's drunk Jessica Jones, it's great. And at 5 is Falcon. AKA Sam Wilson. Before their death, Sam Wilson's parents were kind and understanding, encouraging him to find his own path and grow as a person. However, around the age of nine, Sam's father was killed trying to break up a fight in the neighborhood, and two years later, his mom was shot by a mugger. That's bleak. These deaths nearly destroyed Wilson's faith in the world, and he started down a path of crime as a gang member known as Snap Wilson. Good name there, buddy. It takes a while for Wilson to find his way back to the light and is largely because of the pain that he suffers from his dead parents. Also, his origin as Falcon is pretty convoluted, but that's a whole video on its own, friends. Up next at number 4, we've got Storm. Storm has more of a unique origin story compared to other heroes on this list. She was the daughter of a tribal princess from Kenya, and a photographer from New York. While in her first appearance she's worshipped as a goddess, the origin story has been tweaked over the years, and we've come to learn that she was born in New York City. She moved to Cairo when she was six months old, and during the Suez Crisis five years later, a fighter jet crashes into her parents' house. She survives, being found under the rubble, but develops some severe claustrophobia that traumatizes her for years to come. Also, fun fact, Storm was the first black female character to appear in mainstream comics, which is pretty damn cool. Up next at number three is Spider-Man. Oh, Peter Parker. His parents are dead. His uncle's dead. And his girlfriend's dead. 
Just stay away from Spider Man. Both of Spider Man's parents were killed while posing as double agents while trying to take down the Red Skull. The plane they were on was sabotaged and subsequently crashed. So, Spider Man is raised by his aunt and uncle. He also eventually learns that his parents' past lives are something that he's not overly proud of. Turns out they were in fact traitors, which fills him with a lot of shame. And when he did learn the truth, for a while it looked like they maybe weren't actually dead, but unfortunately, those were just life model decoys. Tough luck, Peter. Everyone you love is dead. Up next at number two, we've got Batman. That's right, the originator of this trope. We all know his backstory, but DC can't really stop adapting it, can they? Bruce Wayne's parents are dead. They died after an evening out taking him to the movies and taking a shortcut down a dangerous alley, where they were then killed by a criminal who tried to mug them, right in front of Bruce's eyes. The reasons have changed over time, depending on what each author has wanted to emphasize in the revisioning of it. The original origin story is only a few panels long, whereas the origin story in Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns is several pages long. Anyway, the story always changes. Was it a random criminal or a huge conspiracy? Both versions exist, and either way, you you get a severely traumatized Batman, either fighting against random unfairness or a sinister underground network. The death of Batman's parents traumatizes him in a way that he never truly recovers from. It becomes his driving force and at times a crutch, holding him back from attaining true happiness. It's a classic story and a sad one, but because of the memes, it's also hilarious. Because his parents are dead. And finally, in our number one spot, we've got Billy Batson, aka Shazam. Why does poor Billy make our number one spot? Because he's not only lost his parents once, but twice. I mean, that is if you count both of his origin stories. But let's take a look at his first one. Unlike some of the other superheroes on this list who have had some support from other family members or friends, or, or Alfred if you're Bruce Wayne, Billy was a straight up homeless orphan who lived in a subway station and sold newspapers. And for a street kid, he's got no street smarts. When a mysterious man in a trench coat approaches him and tells him to follow him down into the subway station, he's like, yeah, sure, that seems fun. In his revised origin story, The Power of Shazam, his parents were killed by his nemesis, who turns out is that same mysterious trench coat stranger and is actually the Black Adam and is the ghost of his father. Oh god, poor kid. At least Batman was smart. And that's it for now, folks. You like the video? Want to see more superheroes and their dead parents? Let us know in those comments below. But for now, I've been Kelly Pally and I will catch you guys in the next one.